Customary dating, as we've been acclimated with knowing, is authoritatively dead, and I exceptionally doubt it will be returning for the majority of the populace. Before the pandemic, people would go out and meet out in the open to burn through cash and time. With the man's eyes set on having room fun with the lady and the lady doing whatever it takes not to have her ten toes up by the day's end. That was the commonplace dating design that most people would follow with the man putting away his cash, energy, consideration and time front and center, while the lady was supposed to be spoiled, treated to fancy supper dates and showered with gifts, without having to entertain the man toward its finish. Doesn't that excessively sound incredible? All joking aside, the dating model is gradually disintegrating and mark my statement. It will be supplanted with a new thing. In light of how individuals connect with one another socially and the nation's financial matters, particularly with how difficult stretches are becoming because of the rising expansion and ladies turning out to be progressively frantic to assist pay for their month-to-month -month necessities, with preferring utilities and gas. The old dating model of meeting somebody out to eat and have drinks is gradually turning out to be increasingly insignificant. These models will be recounted proof, yet it holds a great deal of weight, which can assist with showing us where we are heading. I need you folks to take a gander at the more youthful ages, which would be recent college grads and gens. Notice that those two ages have been adapted as of late, particularly after the pandemic. Take a gander at the ascent of OnlyFans, take a gander at ladies on Instagram getting flown out by rich men to Dubai. Take a gander at the ascent of young ladies on Sugar Daddy's sites looking for game plans and take a gander at ladies online as cam ladies busting it completely open, so that all the world could see. These are things that are going on currently as I'm composing the content, and it's turning out to be increasingly more standardized in the present society to do such an extent that ladies are in a real sense out in the city without trying to hide in Seattle selling Harmony Pass on as an afterthought to earn enough to pay the bills. In the event that you question what I'm talking about, you should simply go on the web and visit these sugar daddy's destinations, only fans and Instagram, and you'll see the proof not too far off before your eyes. Yet the majority of you folks would rather not take a gander to reality, since you would prefer to carry on with blinders on and imagine something you can't help contradicting doesn't exist instead of acknowledge that this is the direction we are going. To be a profound quality police, then go on. However, the fact of the matter is reality and principally young ladies are doing this these days to bring in some additional cash as an afterthought. I believe that you should see who matters right now in the dating commercial center. It's not Generation X or children of post-war America. The more youthful age has no issue taking part in these exercises for a smidgen of cash. You don't need to partake in it, yet this is the reality of where we are going. I'm only here to give an account of what's happening not to urge anybody to accomplish something they believe they are too upright to even consider doing. I need you folks to recollect that dating can be firmly connected to. I went over an article that featured dating as another idea that supplanted pursuing an individuals once upon a time saw it as corrupt for men to convey ladies outside and feast them. But since we were conceived seeing individuals do the adaptation of seeking that we know as dating today, it turned into the standard for us. So my forecast is that the type of dating as far as we might be concerned today will change and develop into something else. I suspect it will be connected to ladies, selling themselves like what we see online in a morally monogamous relationship. For the individuals who don't have the foggiest idea of what morally monogamous is, I'll give you the definition since it's another slash term that has been utilized as of late as opposed to saying polyamory. Moral non-monogamy is the act of partaking in close connections that are not totally elite between two individuals, so essentially it is polyamory that sounds better to say. This is the very thing they do. They change the meanings of things to suit individuals' sentiments. I raised morally non-monogamous connections since this is where we are going in view of the ongoing environment of the dating market. Allow me to give you a model that every one of you can connect with. Suppose that a Jen's young lady has a sweetheart around a similar age, and the two of them joined can't cover their bills and everyday costs altogether every month. So the young lady chooses to hop on a sugar dating site, like searching game plans, and get applauded out by a sugar daddy for an additional two or three thousand bucks. With her goes agree to help pay for their everyday costs, this is the very thing that the new type of dating will seem to be, and what's in store looks brilliant for us free specialists and more seasoned men with cash. Young fellows will be, to some degree, compelled to be okay with their sweethearts being adapted and selling harmony leave as an afterthought, which will be called morally monogamous or polyamory for us old heads. 
In the event that you actually question my determination, simply take a gander at young ladies who are on OnlyFans with Theos. These sweethearts wind up being okay with their lady busting it completely open for hundreds, if not huge number of men from one side of the planet to the other to see. A few views likewise need to partake in blowing her back out on camera and taking cues from her since she gets more cash flow than him. Some of the time when the substance becomes tedious with the boyfriend being the only man smashing the young lady, she needs to get a fan or other only fans star to have room fun with on camera to move her memberships along. The boyfriend has to suck it up. This is where we're going folks. Because of how terrible this economy is getting the shame around pay for play gradually dissolving, pay for play and morally non-monogamy will be the new type of dating. Mark my words the regulations will change to make it fairly lawful for people to participate in pay for play, since you need to see it like this. All it would then require to get is two or three hundred to thousands of dollars, contingent upon the nature of lady you need, and you can bust that nut. I had as of late participated in a touch of pay for play. I didn't need to do anything and I got what I needed with a smidgen of cash. The decision is yours, yet I'm on the clouded side at this point. All I really want is some cash. In the event that you're not happy or prepared to go along with us three specialists on the clouded side, I get it and won't pass judgment on you, yet realize that you're missing out these young ladies over here. You can either adjust or pass up getting simple harmony leave. I have no issue paying on the grounds that all men pay to approach ladies, and that is the reality. You can either pay in cash, energy, consideration, and time. However, I pick cash since they can be effectively supplanted. For the people who are as yet stuck, let me show you evidence of everything continuing right now in this economy. I stand firm in saying that dating is dead and men don't need to approach any longer. I trust the jury to decide wisely. Tap the thumbs up button if I manage to wake you up to the truth of what's going on. Buy in for additional hard-hitting insights. Folks, dating is dead. You can't see it.